Hello again and welcome. I hope you all had a really enjoyable Christmas. I know I did. Prior to Christmas I was talking to Glenn Senior from Yorkshire Grit as I mentioned in my last video and we were talking about shop heating, workshop heating. Uh, Glenn suggested that I go across to a company called ZM Heaters as he did and because he bought one for his workshop. So I duly went across to their website and they have a very handy calculator on there which you put in the dimensions of your workshop and it comes back with a suggested heat output for the machine you're looking at. My workshop is 300 square feet and it came back with a 60,000 BTU power output needed or heat output I should say. Well the model I went with which is their entry level space heater from the super quiet range which is relatively recently introduced uh, called the ZMQ K70. Now that apparently outputs 70,000 BTU so it should be more than man enough to maintain a nice temperature in my workshop. We will see. If you're going down the kerosene diesel powered machine route it is advisable to get a carbon monoxide monitor which I also got from Amazon at the princely sum of £8 which is a very small amount of money to pay for something as important as that because CO carbon monoxide can be a lethal gas. I also got a digital thermometer because I've never known what the temperature is in here. It's either acceptable, comfortable or damn cold. It's currently 9 degrees which is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. 9 degrees C, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. It's bearable but it's by no means comfortable. The optimum, if there is such a thing, temperature is 16 degrees centigrade, which is 60 degrees Fahrenheit for a workshop environment. So that's what I'm going to be aiming to achieve with this heater and we'll see if it can perform. The cost of the heater, I paid £251.94. Uh, that includes value added tax and indeed delivery. Now on the talking about delivery I ordered on Monday the 17th of December and it was delivered four days later bearing in mind this is before Christmas on the Friday so excellent service from ZM heaters. I'm going to do an unboxing I haven't done one of these before as such I'm going to go right from the start to the finish setup and first use and see how long it takes to get this workshop into a comfortable temperature situation. Okay, that's better. Oh, um, the kerosene side of things. We heat the cottage on kerosene because we haven't got gas in the village and I've got an 1100 gallon tank. Now I know I could have siphoned kerosene from there with a pipe. I didn't fancy doing that. I might get a pump at a later stage, I don't know. But the local supplier sells handy 20 litre cartons. So I got a couple of those. Obviously it's more expensive per litre buying it in a small quantity but it's a very handy way of doing it and we'll see how everything works out. Okay, without further ado, let's put this uh, ZMQ K70 super quiet space heater through its paces. Okay, I've, I've placed it on top of the lathe so it's easier to see all the controls and everything just to run you through those. Uh, <coughs> the fuel filler is here and there's a handy um, level gauge as well to let you know how much fuel is in the, in the, in the uh, fuel tank which is this part here. And then at the front you've got the thermostatic control knob here and I've got it set at 60 for when I fire it up that's what I want to achieve and the red light will glow until that temperature has been achieved and then the unit I assume will cut off. This is the on off switch and um, obviously you will connect to your power supply to give the machine power to fire up and you keep that on and then while you're in the workshop when the temperature is reached the machine will go off and I will then assume that it will then fire up again when the temperature block, uh, goes below the temperature you have set. There is also a uh, pressure gauge on the back here 
Now the pressure gauge is set at the factory at the optimum uh, setting. You can manually adjust it but um, if everything works okay my suggestion is leave well alone. Now the front of the machine is where the where the business end is if you like this is where the heat is uh, comes from there's a, uh, a guard here just to let, make sure you don't put your fingers right in front of the of the flame. Now the cone this cone here should glow orange. Now if you alter the pressure at the back if you get sparks coming out in the flames that's not the right setting if this remains grey that's not the right setting this part here should glow orange and if, if that's achieved then everything is working as it should do there are various safety features, cutoff features etc should the flame go out for whatever reason so all those things are in the manual read and understand all of that there is also a suggested minimum free space in front and behind the heater for obvious reasons uh, what I'm going to do now is to fill it up it suggests that you fill up outside of your workshop in a well ventilated area which outside obviously is that then doesn't fill your workshop with fumes etc also the initial startup should be done outside or very near the outside as I'm going to be doing with the garage doors up uh, because of the initial fire up of the oils etc causes fumes so all those fumes will just be dissipated in the atmosphere outside the workshop so that's what I'm going to do is move it's very light I mean obviously there's no kerosene in there now but it's a very uh, movable piece of equipment that's why I didn't bother with the with the wheels because it once it's in situ it won't move while it's operating anyway so I'm going to move this now to nearer the garage door open the garage door fill it with kerosene switch on have the initial burn up and then after a minute or two of we'll see how long it takes to heat the workshop up from 9 degrees C up to 16 let's hope it does it okay so I've got it up on a plastic container here so it's a bit easier for the filling so undo that and let's start filling it okay now I just cleared up a little bit of spillage there so plug it into your main power source stand away from the flame obviously and turn on and it should fire up uh, certainly quieter than uh, ones I've encountered before and I'm standing out of the line of fire and I can feel the heat I'm very impressed so far so what I'll do is time it shut the doors in a minute and see how long it takes to get to the temperature I'm looking for well all I can say is I'm absolutely amazed the machine has been running for about five minutes it's reached the temperature now of just under 15 degrees C which is virtually what I was looking for and it's done that in five minutes and very very effective one point I will mention is that when I said about the red light on the thermostat going out when it reaches the temperature that's not strictly true the red light is there to show you that you have power to the machine but when it senses the temperature you set it cuts out and will cut in again when the temperature drops to a certain uh, certain level it kicks back in again I've had to take my jumper off uh, and that's not for effect it's because it was too warm with it on and I've never experienced that in this workshop with it being in the cold weather um, I'm I'm over the moon and I'm amazed with how effective this is uh, all I can do is thank Glyn very much for pointing me in the direction of ZM heaters great delivery great service and okay only been using it for 10 minutes but uh, five minutes 10 minutes but certainly very very effective um, and what really impresses me is that the heat is, is is fairly uniform there's not a great 
difference in the uh, in the temperature as you walk around the workshop obviously behind the machine it might be a bit cooler but I've got the doors open about that far uh, along the length of the double doors here for ventilation and just because they suggest that's what you do but read all the instructions properly if you go down this route uh, great bit of kit really enjoy looking forward now to coming into the workshop and having it nice and cozy in the cold weather brilliant well thanks very much indeed for watching have a great new year's eve don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the new year cheers now